the Redneck Ranch. So I just picked up a new little plinker and we are gonna go down to the gun range and try to sight it in. And I don't know, just kind of see what I think about it. So see what we got. Looks like we got a tree we gotta cut up. Race day is just around the corner. like the old gun range needs a makeover. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna be using these Aguila uh, Super Extra Hollow Points. These are the ones that are at 1,280 feet per second. I wanna get these uh, this red dot here sighted in with these ones first. And then uh, after I get that sighted in, I'm gonna to move to these uh, Sniper Subsonics at 900 and 950 feet per second. These are both from Aguila. So, we're gonna see how she does. All right, now I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna see where those were hitting and uh, see how I need to adjust it. Okay, so I missed all but one. Got one little hit here. So, got to do a little bit of adjusting it looks like. Okay, so I moved up to a closer target because those uh, last ones, I only had one on that steel. So we're about half distance right now. And we're going to see what we can do here, I guess. Can't even see where those are hitting. You gotta get a spotting scope or some binoculars or something down here. All right, all three of them are right there, just closer. Bring it just a little, a couple clicks to the left and a couple clicks up, and we should be good. And we can start moving it out a little bit. All right, cranked it up and moved it over. Let's see where she's at now. Clicks up, four clicks left. I don't know. Hopefully, it's there now. We shall see. touching but all three of them are high so we're gonna bring it down just a little bit I don't like these gloves nice gloves but I don't know just not exactly what I want I guess Right. Yeah, we still got to bring it down. All right, 
So, I'm gonna go mark on those. I'll come back, crank that down a little bit and see what we can do. Well, the grouping it's got is good. There's a group of three here, group of three here. Oops, not even pointing at the holes here. Group of three here, and group of three here. So, either I'm pulling to the left, or it's hitting to the left. I'm gonna put a couple more marks on here and try to see if I'm pulling to the left, and, and uh, hopefully she should be good and we can start moving the target a little further. Okay, so I'm gonna take three more shots at the top mark. I'm gonna see if I'm pulling to the left or if this thing is shooting to the left, and then do any adjusting we need to do from there, and then it should be on. And move it out to about 50 yards. Sighting this thing in <laughs> pretty close, and I don't know why it's taking me so long. Those ones look like they're all on target just fine. I think I was just pulling to the left before. Yeah, those look like they're all on target too. Let's go scope it out. Huh? All three of them are in there. Got one little straggler down there. Otherwise, the other two are right on target. So we're gonna move it back, probably back by the PT cruiser, and then after that, we'll move it back by the berm. See where we're hitting there. Can't really tell. And I'm gonna shoot the I'm shoot this PT cruiser here real quick, I think. Well, those ones I can see and those ones are way high. Bring it down a couple clicks. Four. Got it down four clicks. Hot brass in my elbow. More clicks, apparently. All right. A new spot here. There we go. That one was dead on. if I can hit the little push button on the back door handle.
check it out. Well, it took me a few more rounds than I wanted it to, but I got her decently sighted in here. Kind of gave up her. Got too many holes in there now. So I started aiming for this little rust spot. Brought it down, got it pretty close. Then I started aiming for the push button on the door handle. And <laughs> you got a few of them, quite a few of them to the left of it. So, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know if I'm pulling to the left or if it's to the left. I'll probably move it a click or two to the right and try a couple more shots. But, I don't know. Got pretty close. Like I said, I'm not shooting for very far. It's actually pretty close. I haven't sighted a gun in a while, apparently. Yeah, just out here having fun. Little 22. So, I'm going to take a couple more shots. That silhouette target there. And then, uh, yeah. Try a few of those little sniper subsonics and see if they run through there pretty good. I'm thinking they will. I got faith in it. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Took the center of that one right out. That one's gone too. Had a little flyer up to the right there, and looks like I had a little flyer to the right there. But and then I'm pretty happy with that. Just for a little plinker. Might stretch his legs later, but for now, I'm happy. I want to try those subsonics to see how they do. So here is the Aguila Sniper Subsonics at 950 feet per second. Look at that thing. I don't know. Let's see. All right, here we go. Here goes those sniper uh, subsonics. Yeah, I'd say they run just fine. back in from sighting in the uh, 22 figured I'd kind of go over it with you guys a little bit and show you what it is if you didn't already know um, this here is the GSG 16 it is a 22 caliber uh, mp5 inspired rifle it is a rifle this here is only a barrel shroud it's actually got a 16.29 inch barrel um, so it doesn't require a uh, pistol brace or anything. It's got an actual stock on it. You can put your vertical foregrip on it and whatnot if you would like to. Um, when you get it, obviously, it doesn't come with the grip. It doesn't have a suppressor cover on it. it. doesn't come with the flashlight or the optics. I put those on there. And on the grip, I actually put this little rubber cover on here that I took off my Glock 19. Um, I like the grip that's on here. They have a conversion kit that's actually got... Uh, some metal parts that go on here and it comes with a whole different lower receiver which actually has a flat faced grip but i like the finger grooves myself so i'm gonna leave that on there but uh i don't know i'm pretty happy with it that's some pretty tight groups out there i mean i wasn't shooting that far i guess but i'll stretch his legs one of these days and see what it can do but um the iron sights that come on it i don't know i don't have an issue with them they're pretty decent um yeah it's pretty reliable um, I put about 500 rounds of, I don't know, the 1250s, 1280s, and uh, I shot 20 of those uh, subsonics at 950 feet per second, and I ran every single one of those just fine. So, I mean, that's pretty surprising, actually. I mean, I, I kind of figured it would, but a lot of people say they have problems with those lower uh, velocity rounds, but oh, I liked it. Uh, it's got the, obviously, the three-place adjustable stock, um, which I like. You can actually get a fixed stock for these, but I like these adjustable ones here. You can collapse it and put it in a bag if you want to, or just easier storing it, whatever you want to do with it, I guess. But they do have a Picatinny rail on top of the stock. Really not sure what that's for. Could be for a cheek pad or something, but I don't know, whatever, I guess. And the stock is actually designed to store an extra magazine 
which you know, looks kind of ridiculous, but it's functional. Um, this is actually the, I, think, I believe this is the third variant they have made. They had the GSG-5, and then they got into a, a uh, dispute with M, or H and K. Said it looked too much like an MP5, so they changed it up a little bit and made a GSG-522. And I guess they didn't change it up enough on that one, and H and K still had an issue with it, so they changed it up more, and this is what you get. And as you can see, it's got the HK charging handle on it, which is swap, uh, swappable. You can actually switch it to the other side here if you're a left handed shooter or if you just prefer it on that side. Um, the safety is ambidextrous, which is nice because the, the position of the safety, if I were to try to adjust it this way here, I have to break my grip for it. So at least having it on this side, I can use my trigger finger to kind of swap it I guess but it's not the end of the world it could be better um, that conversion kit I was talking about comes with a metal uh, caulking tube and a uh, metal or aluminum whatever it is a metal or aluminum uh, charging handle mag release uh, different safety I think it's shaped different and then that also comes with like I said the different lower uh, but I do want to order that because it's got the hooped front in this in the or a hoop sight in the front more of an HK style on it and uh, I think that's I don't know there's a couple other things that might change out on it but like I said if I do get that conversion kit I want to keep this lower on here um, when you get it it's actually got Picatinny rails not these ones I put these ones on it's actually got Picatinny rails across the whole side of these hand guards like that which I didn't like because it was bulky also one on the top I removed that one but it just leaves the top really empty and kind of uh, looks like unfinished or whatever so I'm hoping that uh, conversion kit changes that but yeah I don't know I'm pretty happy with it I like it it was I paid 400 for it there, I mean, you can get them cheaper. I've seen them for 300 bucks. Um, this one was just at my local gun shop when I was buying a different gun and just kind of impulse bought this one. But uh, they do make it one in FDE and a kind of a darker gray. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty pleased with this one, so I might actually buy that FDE model and then uh, maybe have set this one up for the kids or something. But yeah, that's. My little overview on this thing, I'm not going to go into the details, if you're interested in one of these, you can look them up, it's the GSG-16, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, it took me a little longer to cite it in <laughs> than I planned, but I had fun, so yeah, if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe, comment, share, whatever you guys want to do, uh, I do want to do some more of these videos and plink around at the range a little bit more, so yeah, talk to you guys later.